Okay. Hey, this is Anime Legend. Leave my hair alone. I know it's from bed. Um, so I got a new hamster, and his name is Spike. And I just don't... I've... I've tried everything with this hamster, and I've got him last Friday. It's been about a week. Going on next Friday. I mean, it's, it's almost a week. Tomorrow. And... Um, I don't know what to do. I've looked up everything. I I just, you know, he's so withdrawn, and I know I need to get a bigger cage, but this is for this is a starter cage for right now. So here's what he looks like. He, he doesn't like coming out of his box and I gave him an orange just a little piece and this is how big his box is his cage as you can see he's um this is a beginning cage and I'm trying to figure out if um if I can do anything to help him or anything, I've given him food, I've tried to pet him, but I guess I gotta, I know I gotta wait, but I'm just wondering, uh, is there anything else I need in this, this cage? I, I know it's pretty, it's pretty small for him. And also, I think he does something that kind of freaks me out, which is, sometimes I think he has an ear infection just because of that, but he kind of, it looks like popcorning, but it's not. Give me a second. And this is what he does. jumpy alarmed and scared and he always seems to be messing with one of his ears like that right there is he does that mean he's happy because I took his house away from him or what I have to take it away from him one day because I have to clean the cage out and this is what he's been doing uh that right there right there He's been making that noise, and I don't know what that is. And see how he shakes his head? I'm not really sure what that is right there. Yeah, that's a piece of orange, which I'm going to take out. But he's been doing that to that ear over here. See? That right there. I don't know what that is. But it's only it only happens when I take his cage away from him. I mean, take his box away from that right there. That's that's just scaring me. I don't know if that's good or not. But I'll put it back in there. And of course, he's gonna go back in there. But I'm just showing y'all what's going on because it's really kind of scaring me right now. I don't know if he has an ear infection or anything. But if that's if he's happy. See? I don't know. If that's what happiness is, uh, then I guess that's okay, but I haven't really been doing much with him. Ew! See? I don't know what that is. It looks like popcorning, but it's not. And I... I need to figure out what that is before I take him to the vet because I might need to do that because it's kind of creeping me out. Give me a second. Put this back in here. I'll put this back in here. 
Good boy. Okay. And he seems okay now. I'm gonna put his box back in the cage. I guess sometimes he likes the camera. But I just wanted to figure out if, if is that a bad thing that he's doing? Because he seems pretty like it hurts him and he makes a little chutter noise. And I'm just trying to figure out if that's good or not. Okay. And that, that little top part on the top of his head, he's a um, crest, crest, guinea pig. Uh, yeah. Um, so I'm wanting some feedback on that. Um, I feed him, let's see. I feed him little things like this for treats. And I'll probably be getting, giving this to the hamster at school because he doesn't like these. I don't think so. He's probably still getting used to the environment, but I kind of give him some of these sometimes. And his bedding, of course. It's less dust and everything. I've, I give him hay. I give him food, water. I just don't know what to do. And I gotta figure out what to do before I go to the vet and look retarded and it's nothing wrong with him. He's just happy. So, um, I need to figure out if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And the social part, I'm, what I'm gonna do for right now, he's gonna get in this, stay in this cage. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna stay in this cage right here for a couple more months because I gotta get enough money to get another big cage. And then, as you can see from the size of my room, let me get up. As you can see from the size of my room, it's not a whole lot of room going on. Yeah, it's pretty dirty right now, but not a whole lot of room in here and I got what I'm gonna do is move my bed a little bit so I can get a bigger cage and help him with that but I need some I need some help with trying to figure out if he's okay or not yeah I'm an animal lover so yeah I don't I don't like crying but yeah I just want to make sure if he's okay and yeah that's all for anime legends right now I would like to have a reply please um yeah if if there's any feedback I, I need to understand what's going on I haven't I haven't touched him I haven't bothered him I haven't you know what retarded people do and hit him all the time or something like that whatever no I leave him alone so he can get used to the environment for a second like I've left him alone a couple of times the first five days, I mean four days, he's been here, which was actually today. I've only kind of just started messing with him actually today. Yeah. He seems to be doing pretty good as a guinea pig. When I take that box away from him, because I have to clean up, um, he acts funny. I've looked up popcorning a lot, but he's he's been bothering, he's been messing with one of his ears, and I'm not really sure if I can, I can't clean it out if he's not used to me, so I'm trying to wait until he gets used to me before I can clean it out, but I'm trying not to talk so much, because I, I, yeah. Well, if you, if anybody has any feedback, I'd like some feedback anytime. Alright, that's it for Anime Legends. I'll see you guys later.